She's not slowing down. Please welcome <laughs> Deborah Meaden. <laughs> Oh, that was a tough one. <laughs> that Hello? poor woman. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, watching it back, even I'm like, ooh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Anything to do with numbers, it just starts swimming in front of my eyes. Now we're going to talk. I know you've got a book out. We're going to be talking about that in a moment. But let, let's. We've just seen that clip. Let's let's talk about Dragons Den. I mean, are you still the biggest investor over? The whole show, you must be, surely. Oh, I, 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 so I don't know anymore, but certainly I, it used to drive me mad. People say she never invests. I'm like, I've actually invested more than anybody. I don't know what else I've got to do. I don't know anymore, but I'm certainly up there because, um, I mean... Haven't I you invested over £4 million? Pound? Over £6 million. No, over £6 million. Over million. Wow. 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 Yeah. wow. Do you know what I'd love to know, though, of the it's a 60 or 80 companies you bought? 60, is over it? Over 60, yeah. Over 60. Yeah. Which one? I'm not asking you how much or anything like that. Which one has done the best? What's the value of it all? Ah, uh, so you ca I can't really... Um, they're all at different stages. So I've got businesses that I've started... I've, it's an early investment. They've already gone from naught to three million and are going to go to, I think, £100 million pounds worth of valuation. What type of business, wow. what type of business though, really has... Worked out well. Well, recently, the sustainable businesses, there's a lot yeah. of interest now in sustainability. Mm -hmm. So so I've got a business called Fussy that is um, trying to get rid of plastic and single-use plastic in the bathroom. So it's refillable deodorant. Brilliant. Um, and, yeah. and that one has really caught, yeah. you know, they caught yeah. the imagination. It's, yeah. it's often... It's often the right business at the right time. What's the but worst? What you align? Oh, I can't say it. I'm trying to be mean. The That's just mean. <clears throat> They're all lovely. And do you still <laughs> love it? You sound like oh, you I do. Love it. I yeah. love it. Do you know? Every year, I think you know, 18 series. That's a long time. Is yeah. this my last series? And and I sit in that chair. And I get excited. I'm getting. I get. Ex yeah. I'm excited now talking about business. You know, it's what I do. It's what I love. Because you were a bit cautious at first, weren't you, about it? Because of bit. the fame thing. Bit. How are you? How is that now? Are you okay with that? How do people approach you in the street? So I. I. I don't. I. I'm a lot less worried than I thought I was going to be. I actually turned it down three times. I said no. I. I could. I don't want to be in the spotlight. Um, but actually, I don't mind people approaching me in the street because they're talking about the thing I love, and actually they're having a go. You know, they're not. They're not sitting. On their sofas and thinking, oh, I've got a great idea, or yeah. I haven't got oh, an idea. What, so people come up to you on the street and pitch you ideas? All the time. Do they? <laughs> I've All got an idea. The oh, got... no! <laughs> Is that the time? I'm sorry, I haven't... <laughs> She'll be tapping you for money before you leave. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about your, this book, because actually I think this is very important. So it's a children's book, it's aimed at children. It's called Why Money Matters. And this is so important, I think, because budgeting, even actually when we all grow up and become parents, family budgeting is important. So to get in early is, is crucial. Well, apparently, we form our money habits around about the age of seven. What? So it's very early on. Um, and that's why somebody said that to me and I thought, I've got to write a book. Nobody's it's dealing with that age, age group, yeah. you know, and it's really important. I've got so. two granddaughters, one's six and one's ten, and they have no idea about money. When I go to the supermarket and they just fill my trolley with all this rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and when Magic. we get to the two, I have to take <laughs> it all out again. <laughs> so were you interested in money from an early age? You know, yes. Was it in your culture? Uh, yes. So, so my mother, she was a single parent family for a long time and we didn't have a lot of money. So it was kind of present, but not in a teaching sort of way, just in a, well, we can't afford that, we can afford that, you know, do we really want that way? So I think I was fortunate to learn it through first-hand experience. Um, oddly enough, she met my father and married when I was seven, you know, so by the, by the time that I was forming, you know, it had been quite difficult. And I, it's almost, it's a gift. It was a gift, you know. Yeah. And it stays with you, doesn't it, through it your life? I mean, you. I had the same thing. I had a single mum and... It's just sort of in your bones. Yeah. So you're just aware of it. Yeah, that's so yes, it is. Funny so enough, true. you mentioned seven. I started to sing when I was seven. I used to get seven and sixpence a night back in the day. <laughs> but if I said to my mum, because we lived in a two up, two down and money was fairly tight, and maybe I said, Can I have a new pair of sandals for Easter? And she'd say, No, we can't afford it. I said, Well, I'll just buy them myself then. <laughs> so, yeah, I did horrible. a lot. Horrible. Did you yeah, do a lot I of did that a too? lot. I did a lot of that. I bought a pony. Oh, which is quite a, yeah, a fifty pound pony, which what took a bit of no uh, thirteen. <laughs> and uh, of course, buying ponies is one thing; keeping ponies yeah. is a whole different ball cost. game. <laughs> I, I kind of, yeah, yeah. Oh. Is it true that before Bake Off, you'd never cooked an evening meal? I've no, I still have never cooked a meal. Who cooks then? 
my husband, who is a, a fantastic person. cook, and he absolutely loves it. And I think that's fair too. That's fair. Yeah. Well yeah. yeah. I think that's fair too. <laughs> yeah. He must have laughed his head off when you told him you were going to go to Bake Off. He <laughs> said, I said, shall I do it? He went, no. I mean, straight away, before <laughs> I finished the why sentence. Why would you? Yes, why would you do it? And, and I, that kind of made me think, oh, I'm going to have to now. Yeah, red band to a book. So were you yeah, in yeah. the same tent as Colleen and Judy, or did you not see each other? Because everyone not, was at different times. Am I allowed to say? Times. I don't know if I'm allowed no, to say. Don't say one. Maybe one. Maybe one oh, of them. Yeah. Who knows? You know? <laughs> oh, wow. Scoop. But you've actually you've moved on to a plant-based diet, I believe, yeah? And how are you finding that? Um, it, do you know it suits me? Is anybody here? It's easy now. I've got two vegans. My kids are vegans. And I was petrified when they said they were going to be vegan. I thought they don't eat anything. Yeah. Don't eat vegetables, don't eat salads. But honestly, it's so it's easy so now, isn't it? Easier. What do they eat it's then so if they don't eat it? You can get vegan mean? sausages, vegan oh, meat. Right. You can get everything. And why, why did you go? Yeah, why why did, did you go? Well, I tried um, Veganuary. So it was for two reasons. Planet, so it was environment and animal welfare and that was troubling me. And I tried Veganuary. I had no intention of being vegan. Mm -hmm. And I got to the end of it and thought, you know, I feel better. I uh, actually don't want yeah, to eat. Do I don't yeah, want to change yeah, it. And I yeah. thought, I'm not going to make a statement. I'm just going to... And if I want to change my mind, I'll change my mind. Sure. You know, I'm not going to make a thing about it. My husband was mildly put out <laughs> because, of course, he's, <laughs> he's yeah, the chef. Yeah, he's the chef. <laughs> <laughs> he was, and he's not vegan. Um, but, uh, but, no, I feel better. Dairy was the biggest thing. Yeah, I used yes. to get quite... Wheezy and yeah, yes. I don't have dairy for that reason. No. Anymore. Mm. It's brilliant. Wow. Oh, very well, you look, you look, yeah, you look very clear-eyed. Oh, that's the makeup girl. Don't worry. About <laughs> And also, it's, really, it's really, really lovely to see you. Good luck with your book. Thank That's, you. That's uh, Why Money Matters. That sounds a very important buy for children. Uh, and Dragon's Den, series 20, is on BBC One, 8 o'clock on Thursdays. Deborah Mead, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.